Time now for Round Town. Hey, Anna. Good morning. We're at the Museum of Contemporary Art. The one and only Nick Cave is showing up. I kind of love that lately I've been able to talk to the artists whose exhibitions I'm covering. It's such a wonderful change of pace. Well, I'm glad you're here today. I, I am so proud of what you've put together. How, what does it mean to have your first retrospective survey in your hometown? You know, it's really amazing to be here in Chicago and to give this to the city. I mean, for me, that's really what my work has always been about. It's been about, uh, you know, this sort of grand idea and to be able to serve in this sort of uh, moment in these sort of institutions to know that this project is for the people. I love it because you have always had the community in mind. It's almost like you collaborate with the community with your art at the same time. And I've heard you're very excited about this new sound suit. Oh my God, you know, I've been trying to get to bronze for probably three years, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm, and the reason why is that, again, I'm th thinking about putting work out into the world. Mm -hmm. And so for me, a bronze who can live outside of the institution. Oh, that's right. And so I'm thinking about, always thinking about, you know, there are communities there that haven't frequent museums. Mm -hmm. They don't really sort of connect in that way. But, you know, as an artist, I'm interested in sort of how do I sort of find ways to put the work in the world. Right. And so this is my sort of first attempt to th thinking about that. So this is really a sort of a sort of a sort of I would say a small sort of gesture of that, mm -hmm. but the next one will be about six times the size. Oh wow. Because once it's out in the world, yeah. you know, the world is enormous. It needs and to be so magnificent. It needs to be big, it needs to be to sort of handle the sort of space as it presents itself and so I want there to be this sort of epic kind of uh, connection. Who are you hoping to reach with this exhibition since you were talking about so many people who don't have access to to art, to institutions like this one? Well, you know, I'm interested in really, you know, how education is uh, implemented in this exhibition. You know, I can put up an exhibition, but I'm interested in sort of the educational sort of programming mm -hmm. that the museum is structuring. I'm interested in, you know, if there are communities that don't have access, can we get buses to get the young people here? So I'm like, this to me is, I can do this, yeah. but I'm interested in like, how do I make sure that people that look like me can sort of find ways to sort of have this sort of experience. I think you've worked too hard for a retrospective. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm too young <laughs> Listen, for a Listen, I know you're too this young. This is a survey. This is a, a survey. survey. I know, I've we gotta got change the literature. To do. <laughs> because I was like, he's alive and kicking and worked <laughs> very hard for this survey. And I love that you promised to continue to work to make this oh. accessible to all. Thank you yeah. so much. You're Nick. welcome. All right, for other more, we'll be here through the summer until October at the Museum of Contemporary Art. Back to you, Mike.